Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia. I apologize if this video is going to be out late. Hopefully I can post it on Saturday, which is actually today for me, or tomorrow. But I really couldn't figure out a video that I wanted to film today. I know I planned ahead very well, but I thought I'd take you guys along with me on figuring out my 2022 planner system since all of these pre-orders are coming out and all these planners are coming out. Figured it'd be a good time to kind of sit down with you guys, show you my process and just, you know, figure out what I'm going to be doing next year. So this is my current stack right now. If you have not seen that video, I will link it up above in the cards, but I want to try to simplify as um, how many planners I want to keep throughout the years as much as possible because if I'm using like four or five planners a month, I mean a year, it just, it's going to stack up, like it's going to, you know, bulk up very quickly on saving all these planners and I would like to keep it at like two, maybe three planners the most. I'm trying to go for two, more like two. So anyways, so this is my planner stack. This is my passion planner, which I have been using as like pre-planning and just, you know, going over what I need to do each week. And I check these off as I do it. Um, here's a better example. It has all of my trackers and stuff like that. This is my Hobonichi cousin of Vec, which I decorated for fall. And I use this as like a memory keeper and family health, which I put in the front. So my period tracker, family health. Sorry, I'm going through this quickly because it is kind of personal. And meals and hydration tracker. And then the back I just use as like note pages. And then behind that is my magic of eye which i use for journaling i did film a video of how i set this up which i will also link up above for you guys but there is that and then finally my plum paper which i use kind of like a bullet journal um, daily to do's setup this is this week and I just kind of like write notes, all that stuff in here. And I also use the monthlies as like tracking what my tasks are and my cleaning, food storage, just like a whole bunch of things. So this is my current stack right now. This is not including my budget stuff because I feel like that doesn't really fall into this category. I thought about keeping it this way, but I'm wanting to simplify it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and I'm actually going to use one of the notes pages of my, oh my gosh, I'm blanking, notes pages of my Avec and figure out, let's go to the next page here. Okay, and this marks where I have a next empty page. All right, so I think I want to grab some highlighters so that way I can highlight what I want, where I want things at. So for sure, I want to keep my magic of eye. I absolutely loved it this year. I was so consistent in it and it, I just I just love everything about it. I love decorating it. I love using it. It's just um, beautiful and amazing. So I just I want to keep this in my life and I love that I can just do little journals and I don't feel overwhelmed because sometimes I'm just really busy and I don't have time for that. So let's go ahead and put that. So for Magic of Eye, I want to use it for daily journaling. I do like to do moon phase uh, 
goals. So I want to keep that there. I am dipping my toes into tarot, but it's not like a prediction type thing. It's more like a journaling self-reflection prompt. So um, I do that. So I do like a monthly tarot draw and then just kind of reflect on it. And I think that's it. That's all I really want to put it here. Oh yeah. I actually want to track my day. So if I had a good day or a bad day tracker, I thought that'd be interesting to add into it because I feel like this kind of goes with my journaling. So I definitely want to use that. And then I want to, let's see, I think I have an empty page here. So I want to just brain dump all the stuff that I want to track and we'll just go ahead and do that and I'll kind of fast forward for you guys so that way you're not sitting here bored. So let me go ahead and bring up all the stuff I want to add into my planner. Okay, so this is what I was able to brain dump for right now. I started off thinking about everything that was in each planner, but I just also kind of just brain dumped everything and every anything I wanted to track. So now I am just going to figure out what planners I want to use and where I want to put these categories. So I am using an erasable pen, if you guys saw me erasing, because I figured when you're doing something like this, it'd be good to be able to erase. So let's see, the planners that I would like to use that I've been loving is my plum paper, my passion planners, well passion planner I should say, I only have one that I'm using right now. Um, I toyed around with using a bullet journal, which I'll just put blue gel. And let's see, Erin Condren, I liked, but the plum paper has more I can add into it, which kind of makes the Erin Condren a deal breaker for me. Um, I also wanted to try the hemlock and oak because that looked so pretty. Oops, I can't spell oak apparently. This does smear, by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, you just gotta let it dry for a little bit. Um, and let's see. I think those are the only planners that I am struggling with. Oh, the just having a TN of some sort. So yeah, those are the things that I'm kind of struggling with. Um, now, when I do this process, I do need to really figure out and basically pick a planner of like what I want to use the most and also can I put these type of categories into my planner. So I definitely really, really, really want to use the Hemlock and Oak. So I really liked using this Hobonichi Avec. But the thing was, is 
I like to write things quickly and the pens don't dry on here as quickly, which kind of bothered me, especially when I need to track and, you know, do it quickly and close it. And I know I could get one of those, you know, um, ink blot papers, but I just, it's too much hassle for me. And I know it was, but anyways, I like the Hemlock and Oak because it looked very similar to the Hobonichi Cousin. I mostly only need the hourly layout, which the Hemlock and Oak has. And um, I liked all the goal planning stuff it had in there as well. So I think what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna make this planner into my like memory keep mental health type planner. So I want my weekly memory keep in here. And I'm also, I'm going off of this, what I wrote down right here. So my memory keep right here, let's just actually do highlighters for right now. So that is why I brought them out. Sorry if this is all over the place. So let's just put Hemlock and Oak in purple. And anything memory keeping related, I am going to highlight. So weekly memory keeping, I, monthly memories. So that's basically what I did right here. Let's see if I can give you guys a quick glimpse of it because, yeah. So there was that. I would like to put my books read and movies watched because I think that's kind of a memory keeping type thing. Let's see what else. I said I did want to make it kind of like a self-care planner, so I'm going to put self-care here. And I did already look at this planner, so I know that this stuff can fit in there. Um, I really liked having my tracker stuff right here, so I think I'm just going to keep that with the weekly. So anxiety, energy, workout, and... There, oh, I had sleep. Yeah, so let me add sleep in there. Let that dry for a second. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's try that again because I did not let it dry long enough. So note to self and to viewers, this takes a while to dry. So there's that. I would like to have my therapy notes in there because that is a, like a self-care type thing thing and when I looked at it I loved the way it was doing its goal setting so maybe I'll do goal tracking in there as well and once I let that dry I'll add that in there is it dry it's good enough okay so that's what I have there so far as far as like, because I know I'm tracking my meals and my hydration in this planner, but I don't know if that's something I want to care about keeping long term. And like I said, this is kind of like a mental health. So we'll just see on that. So the next planner that I am really leaning towards is my passion planner. I've really, really loved this planner it kind of gives me that bullet journal feel which makes me want to stay in it but I also love having not to write down the hourlies and just having hourlies in general I've used hourlies in a bullet journal before and wasn't really a fan of it the other thing I thought about for 2022 is using a medium size so this is my medium size that I just got recently and I've thought about setting it up. Here is this week where I kind of tried it out and see what I thought about it. And I really love the size, honestly. Um, I love the size of the A5 as well, but I thought about adding, this can fit sticker kits. So I thought about switching my plum paper to this completely, but I don't know if it has all the room I need. So I'm debating on that. Either way, I do want my passion planner. That one I am pretty sold on. So let's do, let's do like this teal um, mild liner. 
So I'm just going to highlight that so that way when I color code, I know what I'm using. So I'm going to, I wanna put my family's health tracker in there because the idea I want with my passion planner is for it to be a year long reference, I guess would be the best way to say it. Like I can look back at it and see any type of important information I want. I actually wanna do mood tracker in my hemlock and oak because I feel like that goes under self care and mental health. Okay. So we'll do that. So instead of my family health tracker being in this one, I think I'm just gonna move it into my passion planner. So I have this right here. So that will include the family yearly health. That includes sick days because I also have it in here, probably my periods, because I feel like that's a good reference. So these are all more reference things. I want to put my recurring tasks in meal ideas. Uh, YouTube tracker and ideas would fit into that category. Let's see. I want to put my important dates in there. And let's see, what else? Maybe future plans would probably fit in there. I'm not sure on that one. Okay, let's stop there for right now. Okay, so, so far I have two planners that I will be using. And these are planners that I, I'm gonna put a star that I plan to keep. This one forever, this one either forever or just very long term since it is a reference planner. The last one, I think, so this is the one I struggle with the most. I don't know whether I wanna use a plum paper or a bullet journal. I feel like if I use the bullet journal, I'm gonna to wanna to decorate it. And if I'm gonna to wanna to decorate it, I'm gonna to wanna to keep it. And that is the thing I'm trying to avoid. So I think I'm, not going to use the bullet journal. I already have this, so I'm just going to leave that there. So that leaves me with the plum paper and the TN. Now, the plum paper is one of those planners where I am tempted to decorate, but I feel like I can also do it in a minimal way where I'm not going to miss the little bits of stickers I put in there because the thing with my sticker kits is I have a lot of sticker kits where I want to keep the full boxes. I love the artwork. I have a lot of um, sticker kits I'm hoarding and if I'm using it in a book that I will keep forever or for an extremely long time, I'm less hesitant on continuing to hold on to those kits. So if I were to use the plum paper or the TN, I would probably just be using like the functional boxes, like the quarter boxes, half boxes. So I'm okay with throwing that away. So if I use the TN, it would work, but then there's, and there's that possibility of constantly hopping through sizes and having to move things over. So that is, might be a no. And I've been loving, I've been really loving the size and the use of the plum paper because it does have my cleaning pl plans, which I have down to a T as well as my meal plans. And it just has everything here that I could really use in my planner. So I think the winner is going to be my plum paper. So let's do a yellow for that one. So let's go ahead and highlight what I want to use. So I definitely want to do a brain dump, notes, lists are things I don't want to keep long term. They're just kind of like for projects and stuff like that and I don't, I don't mind moving that around. Future plans for sure, food inventory don't want to keep, meal plans I don't want to keep, cleaning plans I don't want to keep so I'm okay with that. Um, I probably want to move my hydration tracker into there as well. And if I decide I want to continue the meal tracker, I'll move that in there too. I do want this planner to be more of a pre-planning planner. So there's that. 
So with the daily tasks and hourly tasks, this is what I struggle with the most because I wanted to originally have the daily and hourly in here. I wanted this to kind of be my all-in-one planner because like I said, I really love it. I'm a book bound person. So this would have just been perfect for me. Um, I might try to kind of keep it like this somehow and somehow add in full boxes, maybe in places when I'm done. Still deciding on that. And I'm gonna play with next week just to kind of give that a practice. But ideally I want this to be my planner that I go to as far as my overall week. For my plum paper, I've really loved using it kind of like a bu bullet journal spread. So let's see, where am I? So I really loved using it as a bullet journal spread. And right now I'm using the full boxes in here, which makes it really pretty. I love being able to decorate this, the size, everything. But what I th think I'm going to do is I'll continue using it the way I'm using it, but without the full boxes. So that way I can have those full boxes into my passion planner where I do plan on keeping it. So this might just be a full on minimal spread. Now, before I filmed, I did wanna try this out hourly to see how I'd like it. I don't. <laughs> so I thought about making this into an hourly planner, but I, I think it's too big from the way I like it. So not gonna do that. So I think this will just be a brain dump overview because I do love seeing my um, daily tasks and then being able to move it easier. And this will just basically be like a bullet journal. Like I will have a lot of space to brain dump anything I need to do. And then anything I wanna move to the week, I'll move here, notes, meals. I could probably continue doing this, which is just marking and making sure that I'm tracking all of my planner stuff, or I can use this as my meals and hydration. Just gonna play around with that idea, but I think that's this, I'm gonna stick with this planner. Also, it'll be more cost effective just to keep using something that I have. So I think that is what I am going to do. So this will hold my daily tasks. And then the passion planner will kind of be like an hourly guide and will hold some daily tasks. So I'll just kind of double mark it like that. But that is what I have so far. This is gonna be a pretty long video, so I'm just gonna stop right there. And if you'd like me to, if you'd like to see more of the next process that I will be doing, which is ordering whatever planners I need to order and then kind of mapping out where all these things are gonna go, let me know in the comments down below so that I can get that video filmed for you once these planners do come in. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful in any way. This is coming from an ADHD brain in case you are curious. But yeah, I hope this helps with you guys finding your next planner setup. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did like this video and you've been watching a couple of my videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it in helping me grow my channel and hopefully getting to know more of you. So feel free to comment down below and I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.